What is going on you guys? We got you the next workout of the Bigger Stronger Dumbbell Only Series and today we're going to absolutely destroy our back. Now real quick before we get into the workout guys, make sure you download our workout app Exercise. It's only available in the App Store right now, but it is being made for Androids as we speak guys, so it will be coming soon. Now let's not waste any more time and get back into the workout. So for the bigger, stronger workouts guys, I want you to use as much weight as you possibly can for the desired sets and reps. Now the sets and reps change per exercise, so make sure you pay attention to that as we go through each exercise. And let's get into the first one guys. First exercise, guys, is gonna be the one arm bent over row. Now, I said make sure you go for as much weight as you possibly can. That being said, you also wanna make sure that your form is as optimal as possible. Remember, we're going for strength and size with these routines, guys. Now, you'll be doing four sets of five repetitions. Get a nice lean, guys, get a nice bend. Now for this exercise guys, you see a lot of people they'll actually come up to here, they go past, they go basically beyond the range of motion for the back and, and that's going to incorporate a lot more bicep activation. So by actually keeping the range of motion more strict, stopping right about there, the elbows all the way pinched back, instead of the arm coming up like that, you'll get the most back activation from doing it that way. On to the second exercise guys. The second exercise, guys, is gonna be the chest supported underhand row. You'll be doing four sets again, but this time six repetitions. <sighs> Make sure you get that bench in a comfortable incline, guys. You're resting your chest on it. <sighs> Palms facing forward. One, two, three, four. Now for this exercise guys, you really try your best to make sure your palms are facing forward the entire time. They'll tend to sag in a little bit, try to turn in and rotate, but you have to force yourself, keep them out like that, squeeze in the lats, come as far back as you can, get that pinch and come all the way out full extend. That's gonna give you a ton of lat activation guys. On to the third exercise. The third exercise, guys, is gonna be pullovers. You're gonna be doing three sets now of eight repetitions. You'll see we're cycling up in those reps. Keep the hips up, guys. Now for that exercise guys, like I said in the beginning, keep your hips up. Now I do this exercise for lats. I know some people do this exercise for chest, but for chest, I think I get a lot more chest activation when I get more of a bend in my arms and really focus on bringing it over with my chest. But for this exercise, I keep my arms as straight as possible and actually focus on the stretch of my lats coming all the way back. And as before my elbows really start to bend, that's when I come back over. So it's kind of, if you have to think of a similar exercise, think similar to like a straight arm pull down. You're focusing on the stretch and then coming back up. On to the fourth exercise, guys. The fourth exercise, guys, is gonna be Superman's. Now you're doing this weighted. It is a very hard exercise, guys, and requires a lot of lower back activation. You gotta squeeze the core to embrace as much as possible. You're doing three sets now of 10 repetitions. Fight through it, guys. This one's really tough. Legs and arms are coming up. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, guys, that one is very hard. It is very hard picking a dumbbell up with your arms off the ground. It requires a lot of actually trap activation as well, and your lower back is getting fried, guys. Your entire back is working on this exercise. You really gotta push it. Let's on to the fifth exercise, guys. We're going to a trap isolation one. Fifth exercise, guys, is gonna be the shrug. You'll be doing three sets of 12 repetitions now. Remember, guys, push yourself with that weight. <sighs> Guys, for these shrugs, come as far down as you can, get that full stretch, and come as high as you can, and hold it for a second, get a squeeze, and then repeat that motion. It'll get the most trap gains by doing that. On to the sixth exercise. The sixth and final exercise of this routine, guys, is gonna be the close row. You'll be burning out that back. Three sets of 15 reps now. Keep the dumbbells together, get a nice bend. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now for that exercise, guys, you really gotta squeeze the core to take away a little lower back strain. When you keep your neck up, I find that helps a lot to take away any strain from the lower back. And also for this exercise, guys, make sure you're coming back with your elbows, not curling in with your arms. So guys, for the bigger, stronger series, you have to do these recommended sets, rests, and yeah, rest periods and reps, and that's gonna get you the optimal results. If you change those, it changes the end goal of this routine, guys. If you only have one pair of dumbbells, the intense workouts may be better for you, but if you have more access to uh, different weights of dumbbells, this routine is gonna result in a ton more strength and size gains, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you're looking for any kind of custom workout plan or meal plan, we build them from scratch, guys, that fit your specific goals based on your individual needs. Whatever your time availability is, equipment accessibility, we're very confident we can help you reach your goals and build you a program. That's available on our website, innerblockfighters.com. Make sure you subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.